Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? I wanted to go live quickly before my. Let me see. Gotta put up. But I still wanted to go live just to say hi because I haven't came on here for a bit. So let me. Let's do this. Any questions? Where is my charger? I thought my charger was right here. Hmm. Okay. We're going to do the next best thing. So how is everybody? That's what I want to know. I want to check in and see who's online. See Wagwan on the scene. How are you you all um, improving your fertility? How's that going for you so far? All right. Say hi to my new moms. do all of that good stuff so I think we're good so yeah just wanted to say hi to everybody that's online right now see if anybody had any fertility questions for me anybody wanted to know how to increase the fertility naturally or anything okay so if you have any fertility questions go ahead <clears throat> Hmm. All right. So, uh, what what do you want to join the chat for? I, I've seen you on my my lives quite a bit, but you never say anything. I doubt whether you even speak English. Anglais. So, anyways, I wanted to um just come live and see if anybody had any fertility questions that they wanted to ask. Right. I have a lot of cool stuff coming up. A lot of podcast type videos and YouTube video that I'm working on. I'm trying to do something different. I'm doing more like a sort of like a family podcast, not family podcast. So I'm doing sort of like a family vlog type video. I want to show you all where I get my herbs. I want to show you all how you can be harvesting your own natural fertility herbs so you can increase your fertility naturally. Let me make sure my phone is charging. It's not. Hold on. Do I recommend a hysteroscopy or hysteroscopy for polyps? Yeah. Hold on a second. Make sure I'm charging. And it's going in and out. How long how long have you had the polyps? So yeah, how long have you had it? Cause what I would say is like I really suggest people go the natural route because a lot of the times whatever your whatever your you know your situation is is that there's something underlying that's been causing that. So like I'm not going to tell you no don't do it. I'm not going to tell you to do it. It's your body, it's your life. But what I really suggest is that you sort of deal with on any underlying issues, any like hormonal imbalances that you may have. Um, consider, you know, you really got to deal with mindset when it comes to something like that, because a lot of times these are manifestations of things that you have been thinking that has been causing you to live your life in a certain way. So, you know, if you like change your diet, change your lifestyle, I highly promote that you do things that are more feminine, fertile and fun. OK, because, again, as women, we're highly stressed out. We're doing things that is causing us to accumulate the embodiment of these fertility issues in our womb, womb center, in the organ, our soft tissue organs. And it's because we're just stressed the hell out. So, you know, I really suggest like just trying the natural route first. That's at least, um, especially if you don't have like a, a really immediate serious problem that's what i that's what i would definitely promote and recommend that you try first you know if you want to take my advice so that's what i do so yeah a lot of times that's when you find out about these things um is during a routine routine exam 
And that's just how it goes for a black woman majority of the time. We don't find out this stuff. We don't even know that these things exist. Like, I didn't even know what a poly... I, I'm still I'm still learning about polypses. Um, you know, so... And I'm, you know, I've been into the birth world. I've been enthralled ever since I was a little girl. I would just stare at women with pregnant bellies. And I've, I've always wanted to be... Um, a midwife. So I, I volunteered. I worked at the midwifery center for, you know, when I, in my teens um, in order to graduate school. Um, so this is, you know, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to be interested in fertility. And these are the stuff that I did. And I didn't learn about polyps. I didn't learn about fibroids. I didn't learn about endometriosis. I didn't learn about cysts. I didn't learn about PCOS. Nobody's teaching us this stuff. And then when we find out about it, they want to cut you up right away. And I'm like, look, hold up. Y'all not getting my, you're not getting access to my womb like that. You didn't tell me anything about this. And now you want to cut me open. I don't even know what you're cutting. How many of you even know what the womb look like? And you're going to just let them chop, chop. Mm -mm, not mine. Luckily, I don't know if you all know that's my story. But luckily, um, one time, you know, they told me that I had, um, what was it? What did they call it? They said I had abnormal uterine cells. And so they were trying to say that that was like a precursor for, I guess, HPV or human Papanola virus or whatever. So immediately I get booked for to do the col coloscopy or col I think it's coloscopy because it wasn't a colonoscopy. So immediately I get booked for coloscopy and they try to tell me that, you know, I have, um, you know, they confirm it. And guess how they confirm? Guess how they confirm that you have abnormal cells? They throw vinegar on your womb. <laughs> they throw vinegar on your cervix and if your cells turn white you have abnormal cells and that gives them the right to chop you up that gives them the excuse to, to 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 chop and you know what they do they put a big screen in front of you so you're on your back you're on your back your legs are up in the air <laughs> your legs are up in the air you're all scared and nervous what are these people doing to me they're, you don't know, you never see these people's face. They have masks. They're, they're all dressed in white and I guess the, the blue, a little bit of teal or green or whatever color. Your legs is open and there's a screen and they're showing you when they squirt the bottle, when they squirt the vinegar on your womb. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to plug in my mic. So y'all tell me if you can hear me. But anyways, they show you. So now you see you see the change in the, in the, um, the color of your cells. So you get all panicked, and so you're supposed to be like, yeah, cut, cut that out right now. So it's a lot of propaganda, like there's a lot of techniques and strategies that they're using to gain access to your womb. And when I tell you, I was about, I was young. I should, I had no business being in that place by myself. I was, I was very young, but so if you can hear me. I hope y'all can still hear me. So can you hear me? So I just plugged in my microphone. I feel like it makes my voice louder. Just a little bit. So yeah. So I had no business being in that place. But at that very young age, I was like, they're not. I don't care. What, I don't care if they see Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> How many of y'all remember Dragon Ball Z? I said, I don't care if y'all see Dragon Ball Z up in the. Y'all are not cutting me. You're not cutting me. I'm not, and guess how? They didn't just want to cut me. They wanted to laser me. They wanted to use some Henry, Henry, uh, Henry Adelax experiments on me. And they wanted to laser themselves out of my womb. I was like, look, y'all did not give me any sedatives before you started talking all this shit in my ears. Y'all are not, you're not, no, you're not lasering my vagina. The fuck is this? Star I'm sorry. I don't mean to, I don't normally cuss, uh, at least not online. But when I do, not a bumble clock, okay? I told other people, no. <laughs> can you? So, yes. Yes, you can hear me. Okay. So, yeah, they, you know, it's, it's tactics that they use. And you, you got to be mindful and you got to be wise of these tactics. It's your body. It's your choice. You decide what you want to do, right? So, you said 44 and trying to conceive. Oh, let's see. Hold on. First time, nothing major found besides the polyps. See, I don't, I don't get that polyps are very major. I am kind of new to that, but, uh, you know, it has been coming up. And I've been doing little, little bits of researches about it. 
I don't know too much. I'll be honest. I don't know much about it. I know more about fibroids. Okay. I do got a website. That was my first, one of my first websites I created was about fibroids. So, um, but you know, they're, they're all pretty much very related. Okay. A lot of us just not living our true feminine, um, selves. Okay. Not walking in that. Let me see how much time because this thing acting like it wants to die. <clears throat> so yeah, so don't don't let them scare tactic you into doing anything because chances are whatever has caused the polyps in the first place can cause it again. Just like with fibroids, you can you can hack the womb left, right, and center. If you're not changing the things that cause the fibroids, it can easily come back. And then you'll be in the same situation. So, um, yeah, my, my what I, I I would try some natural fertility methods. There are lots of natural fertility methods. Um, you know, you can do. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some more research on polyps because it's about time I do that. And then I'm sort of gonna create like a report. I'll create a report on polyps, and then. I will present that, okay, because I like to sort of have like a deeper deeper background of information. And polyps is, is really recently been coming up for me. I haven't really met too many women with polypses, but I, I know that is, is definitely one of the things out there from, what, from some of the research I do. There are herbs you can take for polyps, okay, but like I said, like fibroids, like a lot of these other things that, that they want. Okay, so yeah, I didn't finish my story. So my the end of my story is... I told them no, they're not cutting me out today, and they basically scheduled me for a um, a return uh, visit where they were going to actually do the laser. Okay, and I was like, no, that's not happening. So this was like at a, a major hospital, or whatever. So, anyways, on my way out of the very room of the hospital, there were a bunch of pamphlets on the wall. <laughs> so on my way out of the hospital, there are a bunch of pamphlets on the wall, and. One of them said something like HPV or abnormal vaginal cells, whatever it was that they said. Okay. Hey, go back over there with that. So I pick up the pamphlet. I read the pamphlet. The pamphlet says uh, this can be reversed by changing your diet and your lifestyle habits. And I'm looking at, so what the hell y'all up in there telling me that you need to laser me like it's Star Wars and like my vagina is the enemy of the freaking state. Okay, this was before they had tasers, and they wanted to tase my vagina. <laughs> I was like, she's not that bad. She's she's really she's really good. She she's not like trust me. I know you're scared and you're you you fear for your life, but you're not touching it. Anyway, this pamphlet says you know the HPV are well. I didn't actually have HPV, but it said the abnormal cells that can lead to HPV can be reversed through healthy lifestyle, diet changes, and you know other just regular sort of diet and lifestyle type of things, reducing certain toxins and whatever. So I did that. I, I, I became vegan. I went vegan, not sorry, not vegan. I went vegetarian. I changed my diet. I was working at like Harvey's or whatever at the time. So I stopped, I stopped eating the meat there or the salad. I started eating more salad and soy, you know, people have their feelings about soy, but I just refused to eat the meat. And the next time I went back, everything cleared up. OK, they could they could throw their vinegar in their eyes because they weren't going to laser. I can't believe that that was a test. They, they threw vinegar in my vagina to see if the cells turned white. Like you're literally burning me. You're throwing vinegar. Of course, you're going to see something, you know, and then you have to think about it. Depending on what time of the month, anything could be going on there. You could have had intercourse and, you know, maybe you got rubbed a little too roughly and and some skin broke and tore loose that could have caused the vinegar to react so that was like a pathetic test to me i don't know if they've changed the test so that was that was my experience where you know they were trying to cut me okay so i was like no so anyways everything cleared up my test results went back to normal so yes I, I was eating meat at the time but i once i saw that pamphlet and now mind you i guarantee you that they don't have these same pamphlets right outside of the operating room because this is before hpv was even a thing now you know this is before they created a vaccine 
where they were trying to routinely give it to our daughters in school and stuff like that. This was like, well, I guess I can't say it was, they did, they did give us something in school, but, um, I know now they become more aggressive with this whole HPV thing. They, they do try to make it seem more, I can, whatever. I don't, I don't pay attention half the time when they start talking about what's mandatory and what's routine and what they're going to do to, to, to you and your, your fertility. If you don't let them give them access to your, your womb, I stop paying attention, but I know that they have got a little more aggressive with the whole HPV scare. So this is before that. So I, I doubt that they have information out there telling you that you can reverse the likelihood of getting HPV or you can you can heal abnormal cells. Just think about it. Whatever caused your cells to become abnormal, if you cut that out, your body was is designed to pretty much live forever. Your body is designed to heal itself. OK, you got to give it the right things. And if you think about it, the things that we are highly deprived of okay in society are the things that can heal you just think about it how many of you go to the store and really get a good selection of herbs and seasoning for your food it's probably it's probably typically the same thing like salt and pepper um luckily you you know if you're lucky you might get some dehydrated flakes with no seasonings no um essential oils in it just everything just completely dehydrated and, and sucked of all life but maybe it has like a little bit of flavor, a little bit of taste, you know. So, you know, we're not eating enough vegetables and fruits. So we are literally being deprived of the health given foods. Now, when you look at the herbs and you look at the benefits of the, you don't like some of these stuff, you don't even need to eat a meal. That is why you can drink a, a, a smoothie. They have, it's called a fertility smoothie now. OK, because it's so life given. Okay, healing to the cells, tones the uterus, uh, helps to shed um, dead uh, cells in the t in the womb, helps to um, increase circulation to the womb. A lot of these herbs do just that. So I would say research natural remedies or solution for polyps. Research natural um, herbs for polyps. Research natural, like find out what is working for other women, because I'm I pretty much guarantee you, if you can if you can heal herpes and AIDS and a whole bunch of other, um, you know, you can heal malaria. The herb, um, the herb, what you call it, Biden's. There's a herb called Biden's. I'm, I'm making a video about it right now. Biden's coronata or just any herb, pretty much from the Biden's um, family. A lot of these herbs. OK, are good for malaria. So remember, malaria kills people in Africa. It kills children. But for, you know, before there was the malaria drug, this thing they scare us about. These people are, you know, the indigenous people, the native people, our ancestors are using herbs to heal themselves. So they got us over here like fools. That's all I can say. So, yes. So I hope that answers your question. Um, you know, if, if worse comes to worse, you got to do what you got to do. But just don't be. Don't be surprised if, you know, it pops back up because you have not dealt with the underlying issue. So, again, if you want to if you want to learn more, if you want to work with me um, tomorrow, I will be doing like another live call. And so I can go through and show you how you can increase your fertility naturally. I'm going to start doing this like every day. Now, I did my first um call today so something i want to do regularly just so if you have any questions or if you, not just for questions but like just so i can sort of present to you like the different moves and the different steps you need to make so you can go and you can check out my um my, my bio right now or my page right now you can see an example of what to look for what's, what it's going to look like but it's basically going to be a zoom call where i'm going to go over and show you the stuff that you can do and how we can work together so i definitely love the question in and answer but my phone is gonna die and I can't really see and I'm, I don't want to, I don't want it to just cut off and not um, not load so I'm gonna end the video thank you Shawnee um, make sure you're following me and I definitely will love to talk to you some more all right so bye